Okay, so they probably don't have much development out here because they don't want it. And there's no Walmart out here, and there's room for Walmart. There's no Walmart in several of the areas around here, and there's room for a Walmart. You know, there's need for a Walmart. And does the Walmart decision kind of like was all about not developing areas. So places who didn't get a Walmart, they won that, that battle within their communities to not develop more. Okay, so you have uh, uh, the Starbucks. You, sorry, I'm, I cut out something. I had to redo it. You have uh, you have the Taco Bell stock prices, which are like near 110 percent five year, and you have the other corporations, Jack in the Box, Burger King, McDonald's, looking like about a 90 percent or so over five years. So they've not decreased their prices and they've not really introduced deals and they've still went up. They've still went up the chart and even more so. But they can move in at any time really and, and change and probably hurt the other companies. And they probably know that too. And uh, generally in America, how corporations won over is they come in and they undercut and then they cut everyone else out, and then they jack their price up. So that that's actually happened. You know, that happens in other corporations. That's pretty much how it works. Do you guys know, anyone remember what Blockbuster is? When Netflix replaced that. So that's how it works. But Blockbuster came in and replaced everyone else. Video Central. Um, I forget the other places. It's all... That's all long gone. Blockbuster replaced that stuff a long time ago. And so, you have uh, also, Taco Bell has very few places. Like, they're not on every street corner like a Starbucks. And McDonald's is close to every Starbucks. Not quite, but compared to Taco Bell, McDonald's is everywhere. Burger King is kind of everywhere, too. So they've actually got a lot to lose by relocating into uh, a personal building, right? They have no investment there. Um, they, have, they have less gains. They'll have to demolish some of their buildings if all of a sudden they're supplying directly to buildings surrounding their old buildings, right? Maybe they won't have to. Maybe they can move on, but it, it's still a chance, right? That it's going to go that way. And Taco Bell doesn't have that much invested as Starbucks and retail property. So they could easily like switch over to something like that to where you, you're in a building and you have some sort of transport system, tubing or conveyor belts, both combined. And then it just like, you know, shoots food to your freaking room, transports food to your room. You got to leave the house to get your breakfast made. You don't have to go to the kitchen. And again, those buildings turn into like 500 room buildings when there's no kitchen in any room because there's a main kitchen below in the building. Some people might want their their you know ability to do what they want themselves, be autonomous. But I would think, you know, some people would also be like, well, first of all, you could be like, those are, could be office buildings, not even places to live in, and still be smaller size, get stuff delivered to them. But I think, you know, people looking for a small place to live would easily give that up, because technically you could reduce costs by a lot if houses didn't have kitchens, right? I mean, a lot. All sorts of heating and electronics. Maybe the most in the house are in traditional kitchens. Now, <clears throat> if I have... A <clears throat> <clears throat> I should have paused the video for that. If I have a kitchen, or if I have a house, I, I've had to rewire houses because of the room I reside in, play in. Every room, <laughs> every room I end up going to ends up being some super large you know, massive thing 
tons of electric running to it and everything. But, um, you know, the average person, I'm not sure if they're there yet or if they'll ever really get that far. Um, not everyone needs like, you know, seven labs in their house and, uh, it's a room for a bunch of supercomputers to be running and stuff like that. And although generally a man does have like a workspace and all that, and there can be a lot of electronics, uh, electrical devices involved in that. But when we're talking about running like a room or a little office building, we're not talking about having a wood workshop. But at the end of the day, I'm talking about putting food into these buildings. We can also talk about manufacturing and putting the factory stuff in those buildings. You know, replacing those delivery drivers on the street. That's causing uh, a lot of a lot of gas, a lot of traffic congestion. I mean, obviously, energy sources are usually changed around, but reduce slightly sometimes more efficient and their you know wages aren't really increasing even though they're increasing we're talking about less people working not the same people working just working different jobs which is going to happen for an extended period anyways but I think that you can have like 3D printing and all that stuff. You can have like a lower level be dedicated where there is some sort of shop. Now it's hard to get like shop work and stuff like that inside a building because no one's going to want to hear that noise. That'll be an issue people have to deal with. But I think Taco Bell can go that direction. I think Taco Bell can definitely go that direction. And Taco Bell's prices could be dropped to cut everyone out of the competition. They could start dropping deals in their apps and then start hammering the competition. But what they really could do, they could hold on to that momentum and be the first to install their food places inside buildings, inside living buildings and office buildings. Like they wouldn't be the first, right? Because we have Starbucks over here and some of these, you know, 10,000 room office building high rise things they probably do you know have fancy restaurants inside of them but I'm talking about like like those are people too those are people like Warren Buffett sometimes and what they have in their building is this fancy place where there's like $55 steak and all that and then like Warren Buffett leaves the building and goes buys McDonald's for four bucks down the block right Let's, let's face it, getting rich ain't about spending all your money. It is to some extent. You got to invest. Invest in your future in, in every angle you can. Even down to your looks and stuff like that. And that's what that's about. That's what having that rich, fancy restaurant inside your 10,000 uh, office unit building. Right? That's what that's about. That's why they installed the fancy restaurant if that's in there. But these other buildings as well can benefit from that too. Especially as you develop like larger developments. I don't know if you can see, but there's some, there's some cranes out this way, right? Um, I don't know if you can actually see. I don't think you can. Over there. There's like three cranes that way, right? And eventually th those are just going to build more and more and increase more and more and the rate of production is going to get faster and right off just start building into these units and if you can actually hold out on increasing your prices if, if most people move over to apps and then realize that Taco Bell is actually a little more expensive than everyone else if most people don't realize that for a minute or don't care for a minute because Taco Bell is so good and it's only Taco Bell there is really uh, there is like Del Taco, which I haven't ate there. It just doesn't look as appealing as Taco Bell. And the prices definitely make me think it was Taco Bell. And then there's uh, that other taco place in between here in the East Coast. I can't think of its name. But Taco Bell, like everyone knows Taco Bell. I, I don't know if everyone knows Del Taco and stuff out here, but... 
Um, everyone where I'm at, everyone knows Taco Bell, and obviously, like Taco Bell. But this this is about like movies predicting the future as well. So Demolition Man was talking about that stuff. Like a lot of stuff that goes on in movies goes on in the world. And I think they, they're in a real good position to do that, too. They could just start installing in, like, every building. Whoever does that is, is going to definitely catch something. <laughs> Maybe they'll catch a, a big failure the first time it's introduced. But I think that's really where everything is going to go. In the bottom of every building, or to the side of it, or right beside it, there's going to be, like, a little factory type deal and, and 